All right, now I'm going to bring in Robert Greenwald. He's the president of Brave New Foundation, director of films like Rethink Afghanistan, Iraq Uncovered, Koch Brothers Exposed. Robert, great to have you here. Uh, tell me about how you got involved, why you got involved in Living Under Drones pro, uh, research project here. Well, at Brave New Foundation, we're on our war cost campaign, we've been researching drones for the last six months. We're making a full-length film. We're doing short pieces. I'm going to go to Pakistan in a sh a fairly soon. And we heard about this study by the Stanford and NYU people, and we reached out to them. We said, you know, a study is great, but where we can help you is we can do a video. And the video will reach a different audience, a wider audience. So when we started reading this study, you know, we were absolutely extraordinarily upset with what we were reading, but we knew that we could turn it into the video that you showed clips of and that people are sending all over today. You no, know, you're absolutely right, and I sent it all over. It's just seven yeah. minutes, and it gives you the whole story, and it's, and it's really powerful. But now a lot of people, of course, are going to criticize you and say, how could you, right before an election, criticize a Democrat like this? How could you, Robert? <laughs> Well, I'd like to think that there are issues that we're committed to, and it's not about, frankly, even the name of the party. It's what do we care about? This is a moral issue. This is a security issue. This is an issue about the kind of country we are, and I think it's important to raise it. I think it's important to talk about it, and I think it's important to say to people, this policy is not making you any safer. Whether Obama's been hemmed in by the, the military who knows what all of reality is, but we know this, as you, as you just said in the beginning, this doesn't make sense on almost any level. 175 children who've been killed. And if we think about that for a minute, every single member of their family and their extended families, what is that doing? This area, by the way, is an area where there is one doctor for every 7,000 people. Now, can you imagine, let's be wild-eyed liberals for a minute. Can you imagine what sending in some doctors might do? You think that might be a little more effective? Yeah, you know, and, and the thing is, you know, I, I sent this around. I also talked about Social Security today, and people are attacking me saying, oh, I guess you want Mitt Romney to win. Do you watch the show even for a minute? <laughs> right? That's not the issue here, but we've got to... And, and President Obama said, hey, listen, yeah. put pressure on me from the outside. Well, isn't this exactly it, to do the right thing and to be productive so we don't go in the wrong direction? Well, and we've seen it. We've seen which, where's the been most effectiveness, the immigrant community and the LGBT community, because they put pressure on the issues. That's a and, great point. And this is a fundamental issue. Of course, we want Obama to be reelected. He will be reelected. But boy, have we got our work cut out for us to be talking about this and to be creating a peace movement that's willing to challenge him and challenge challenge the Pentagon and not go quietly into the night. Don't go quietly into the night, exactly. Robert, thank you so much. My pleasure.